Hello, my name is Luis Perez from the Reels Company. Welcome to this demonstration of the Rebam 2 plugin for Interpability Studio, developed by the Reels Company within Work Package 4 of the Rebam 2 project. The purpose of this plugin is to provide feature model extraction, visualization, and configuration capabilities on top of Interpability Studio. For that, we are applying semantics processing, formalization, and comparison of algorithms to extract and represent commonality and variability through system representation language. On our approach, this semantic is everything. So we formalize textual content from the documents using semantic patterns that allow us to formalize the natural language into relationships between concepts, representing the semantic of the text. So, the steps in the example are to configure the transformation from textual requirements to system representation language. Next, run the feature model extraction algorithms over SRL. Then, visualize the feature model in a graphical user interface. And finally, configure and instantiate new requirements from the feature model selection. Let's get started. This is Interpolarity Studio Connection Window that allow us to choose the ontology that will be supporting all the NLP processes over Interpolarity Studio. In this example, we are going to use the extraction processes and visualization processes. These are three worksheets with three versions of a system level requirements of a rolling stock component that will be used in this example. Now we are going to connect to the ontology and open Interpolarity Studio. Once Interpolarity Studio is opened, then we will open the Rubam plugin by clicking in the in this button on the main ribbon. The first plant GUI is divided in two zones. The left one is used to define and run the feature model extraction, and the right side is where we configure the connectors. Now we are going to open an empty extraction configuration and then we will fill it with the minimum information required to be formalized. For that, we are going to add a new connector to the one of the previous sheets that that we have seen in the Excel. Next, we have to select one of, or more indexing pattern groups that will be used to formalize into SRL the textual content. After indexing the documents, we can see the SRL extracted from the configured document, and even we, han we can see the structure of, a pre of the product breakdown, inferred from the mapping of the patterns and the relationship generated by the NLP processes. Now, let's focus on the left side. For each feature model extraction, we have to define a connector to a, to a document, module, whatever, where we want to populate the templates from the extracted requirements based on the feature selection. So now we just only have to run the extraction process using the previously done configuration. Then this process will open the documents in the background, request for credentials if required, and then it will populate the templates extracted.
Now let's open the viewer for the extracted feature model. The algorithm has determined for each of the features extracted, which is the state for the feature co uh, model configuration. If it is mandatory, exclusive, just one value, alternative, one or more values, or optional. Now let's try to instantiate requirements based on the selected features. On the left side, we have the feature model selector and the required of or pending actions for the configuration of the feature model. Then, on the right side, we have the templates to generate the requirements and also we have the resulting requirements based on the current selection. So, if you change the selection on, on the feature model, we change the content of the requirements and the number of requirements applicable. Once we are OK with the, with the results requirements, we can store them using Intermediate Studio connectors. In this case, we are going to store them in a DOORS module. So, in the end, having these requirements stored in this DOORS module, we have demonstrated the semantic approach of extracted requirements and feature models associated and how to go back from the feature model and the templates to requirements.